everyone and welcome back to my channel. As is tradition at the end of the year on this channel, we like to do a little album collection video, a little update. So I do these usually once every, well, I used to do it every three months, but then I decided to switch it up a little bit and just do it every six months now. Whereas I think in the new year, I'm probably just gonna do it at the end of the year because I don't know, I don't buy as much as I used to. So I just feel like there's not really a lot to update on halfway through the year. So I think this is just gonna be an annual Christmas tradition at this point. So as I've mentioned in a few other videos, actually you haven't seen those videos yet. So this is the first time you're gonna hear me say this, but I'm not feeling 100% healthy right now. I do have a little bit of a cold. It's not COVID though. I've been testing myself, so that's a good thing. But if my voice sounds a little off, that is why. Also, my tripod is currently sitting on my bed and I'm trying very hard not to shake it at all, but it's very hard to do so because I'm also sitting on my bed right now. So uh, yeah, if, if, if the footage is a little shaky, that's why I apologize. But we are gonna be looking at the shelves that I have in front of me here. I also have a smaller one to my right that we'll be looking at afterwards. If you've been following my channel for a little while, you know that that small shelf is all SM, mostly NCT, but all SM groups. And then these two shelves are everything else. So I am going to raise you up a little bit so we can start at the top of one of these shelves here. And basically I just kind of go shelf by shelf. I don't talk about every single album that's on the shelves because that will take too long, but basically I'm just going to give you a little visual, maybe talk about what has changed since the last time I talked about my collection. Um, and, and yeah, and then if you have any questions about anything that you might see on these shelves, you can go ahead and leave a timestamp in the comments down below and ask your question and I'll do my best to answer it. But this is just a little look at my collection. Um, yeah, it's changed a little bit, but we'll get to that. So let's begin. Okay, so for the very top of my shelf, I kind of have to hold the tripod in a way that you can see it. So if it does shake a bit, I apologize. But as you can see at the very top of this shelf, I have some space to store things. At my previous apartment, I had a bit of a um, overhang. I'm not really sure if that's the correct term, but basically there was like, yeah, there was like a little chunk of ceiling that came down. So I didn't have room to really store much on top of my shelves previously but in this new apartment I do. And as you can see at the top, I have stored a few different like seasons greetings and fan kit things, I believe. We have a bit of Woods, we have a bit of Victon. Um, and then I do have two Monster X light sticks that are up at the top in the middle, as well as a Honey Gom character that is one of Monster X's characters, that's Juhans. And then I have a little Pokeball that I won uh, recently at a fair. So that's just what's at the top of the shelf. And now I think I can bring my tripod down a bit. Okay, so I'm still gonna hold on to it a little bit just to keep it a little more steady than it could be. But as you can see on the first shelf here, we have my BTS collection. Now a way in which this has kind of changed recently and it might have been an update in my summer update, I don't know. But I recently shrunk down my collection so that I only have one version per release and that is just how I want to collect BTS moving forward. I don't want all versions of their albums, but um, yeah, I still want at least one per. And then that will be the same for my photo card collection. I'll just be trading for Suga's version of whatever photo cards I happen to pull. So. As you can see though, there's a lot of other things going on on the shelf. I have a few dolls, a lot of BT21 stuff. So there's a lot of Shooky, obviously, as I mentioned, Suga is my bias. I do have his little Funko Pop there. That was from the, the first set that they released. There is a second set. I don't have his, uh, his figure for that collection. And then I do have some fan-made dolls there from his Day Tree Tell music video. So there is all that. Okay, I'm so sorry, the tripod. <laughs> is moving but yes and then i do have a few chimmy items as well as jimin is my second bias or i don't know is that even still a term but i just really love chimmy i think he's cute so that's what's going on here um and yeah my collection is currently up to date by my standards and i'm very happy with it so that's that first shelf 
And then next up we have my Victon shelf. Now I believe recently this shelf was shared with another group. I can't even remember what that group might be right now, but I recently was able to kind of change the way some things were set up on my shelves after I had moved and I decided to give Victon their own shelf over here. So as you can see, I do have every version for every album because I love Victon. You'll notice that what album is it continuous is missing and that is because I have a signed version of it somewhere. I don't remember how I've set this up. It's hiding basically. Um, and uh, I have all three versions signed, but I don't know that I want all three versions. I don't know. So I just trying to figure out how to set that up. So that's the only album that's missing here, but I do own it. Um, and then there is a couple solo releases. So as you can see in the front over here, we have Hansei's little kit album. And then over at the side over here, we have Sunwoo's little solo albums over there. I used to have all versions for both of them, but I've decided for solo releases, if they aren't Sungshik, I'll just be getting one version. That even goes for Hansei and Sejun, just because um, they're not my top bias, even though I do collect both of them as well as Sungshik. Sungshik is like an alt bias for me. So I would get all versions for him, but for everyone else, I'm just gonna try and keep it chill. So yeah, as you can see, it's getting pretty full in there though. So I hope they don't continue to release albums that are this thick because they take up a lot of space and I'm not a huge fan of that. So yes, otherwise though, very happy with where my Victon collection is at right now. And yeah, can't wait to continue purchasing their releases in the future. And then next up right below that, I have my Woods shelf. And this was also shared with, I believe, Omega X maybe in the past. But again, I've rearranged some things. And now Woods has his own little section, which I'm so happy about because he is obviously one of my top biases ever. One of my favorite artists in this entire industry. So yes, for him, I also do collect uh, every version of everything. Um, I buy all the signed albums, like, uh, so it's a little chaotic, but you know what? I'm very happy with it. As you can see, there's also a lot of little decorative items, like his new birthday cup, the tambourine from his fan kit. We have a little Ming Ming up here, and then I also have some fan-made dolls over here, as well as some of the other birthday merchandise and things kind of hidden throughout this entire shelf but very happy with where this is at right now as well and I cannot wait to see what he releases in the future now that he is part of a new company. I do have his new season greetings ordered through a group order so I'm very excited to receive that sometime hopefully in the new year and then I'll have an unboxing of that as well. It is the only season's greetings that I ordered this year. It was also the only season's greetings I ordered last year was his as well. I used to also order NCT's and Victon's, but it has just become too much. I don't need three season's greetings. I barely need one season's greeting because I never use any of the items that come in them. So um, I decided to just choose one artist moving forward and uh, it'll be Woods for me. Just because of how intensely I collect his photo cards as well, it's just smarter for me to buy more of his merchandise so yeah that is the wood shelf and now we can move down to the next one okay so next up we have monster x and omega x which have both been put onto the same shelf these two did not share shelves before i forget how i had it honestly previously but i like that this works i like that both of their names end with an x i think that's kind of cool it was an accident i didn't even realize that i did that until right now but on the left hand side you can see my monster x collection i have one copy per release or one version per release i used to collect everything for them but i have since changed that as for shape of love i believe i only have the kino i don't think i ever actually ended up buying like a a proper photo book version of the album or anything maybe i'll do that in the future i I don't, I don't know but they are releasing something new very soon so i am excited about that again i'll probably just buy one version of the album and then go from there but i do still collect every single photo card for juhan so i will continue 
to do that moving forward until I feel like I don't want to anymore. I am still very much behind on my Shape of Love photo card collection though. So uh, yeah, I should probably work on that. But um, yeah, I also have this little doll of him in the front. I got that, well, I ordered it a while, while, while ago and it took a long time to even get to me, but he's so cute. I love him. And then on the right hand side, you can see my Omega X collection. And um, uh, I don't know if we'll ever get anything new, how long it'll take before we get anything new. Obviously, this group is going through quite a lot right now. If you haven't really been up to date with that, I encourage you to check out the hashtag ProtectOmegaX on Twitter. Um, I think there's a lot of information there that you can look through. There's been a few other hashtags since, but I think a majority of the information is probably under that hashtag. Like I said, they are going through a lot. Don't really know when we'll be getting anything new from them, but I really just wish them the best moving forward and I hope that they get the justice that they deserve. So very happy to have what I have there. I do love them with all of my heart. They are one of my top groups. So I really just hope that they're okay. And that brings us to the end of this shelf and we can move on down to the next one. Okay, so right below that shelf, we have my Stray Kids collection. This is another one in which I have downsized recently. So I do only have one version per release and they're usually the limited version. The reason I still have all three copies of Miro though is because my two regular copies are signed. So I don't really want to get rid of them and they're signed by my top two biases, Changbin and Lino. So definitely don't want to get rid of them. So that is the only reason why I still have all three versions of that album. But moving forward, I just have the limited versions for everything else. And I'm probably going to continue doing that in the future. I do still collect all photo cards for Changbin, but I, uh, I don't know how I'm going to continue doing that moving forward. As of right now, it's still very easy to do so. So I'll probably continue with it. But yes, just trying to kind of take it easy and size down on a lot of things. I don't need everything for everyone and I've said this so many times but I am really trying to act on my words this year or I did act on my words in 2022 and I'll continue to do that into 2023. So um, I do also have that Beetlejuice mug over there. I'm sure you've seen um, on a few previous shelves I have some random like mugs here and there and it's just because I don't really have anywhere else to put them but I also think that they make cute decor. So yeah. So that's my little baby Stray kid shelf. As you can see, the right hand side of this shelf is pretty empty. I don't remember what was there. I have sized down on a lot of things, so it's possible that whatever was there, I just fit elsewhere. But um, yeah, it's just, you know, room for growth, which is always nice. I don't have any plans to collect anyone new anytime soon. I'm not gonna say, I'm never gonna say never because um, I think I did add like one group in full this year, Extraordinary Heroes. I don't know if I added anyone else, like where I would collect more than one album, if that makes sense. I don't know, but hey, you never know what's gonna happen in 2023. It's very possible I could add someone new and they can go right there on that right hand side. So anyways, there is that. I actually would keep Extraordinary Heroes there, like their albums, but the new ones are just so tall, they don't fit. I have to put them on my bottom shelf because there's a little bit more space. So anyways, that's the explanation for that. And there is still one more shelf down below that we're gonna go through right now. All right, and next up down at the bottom of the shelf, we just have where I store my photo card collection. So we have all of my larger nine pocket binders as well as my smaller four pocket binders over on the right hand side. So uh, yeah, as you can see, the collection still looks pretty large. However, this binder, for example, is just sleeves. This binder is just like larger inclusions and things that I used to collect. I don't collect large inclusions anymore. And the first binder here is just all of my trades and sales. So really, I only have like four large nine pocket binders that I use and I use them for my alt groups. So that would be NCT, Victon, SF9, and who am I missing? Woods. Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, those are like the four main large binders that I have there and then everything else stores other stuff. And then for my A5 binders, I have quite a few of those, but you know, it has helped me definitely contain my photo card collection a little bit more. And you will be seeing an updated photo card collection video that'll be coming sometime before the end of the year let's just put it that way it's coming in december so do stay tuned for that it'll be here soon 
And with that, we are at the end of my first shelf, and now we can move on to the second large one. Okay, so next up at the top of this shelf, as you can see, I have a few of my BTS items, which I'm thinking now I should have probably put on the top of the other shelf, just because BTS items are on that first shelf there. It probably would have just flowed nicer, but here we are. It's fine. I don't mind it that much. We have a couple Shooky dolls, well, pillows, I guess. Technically, the big one is a pillow. The other one, I think, was like a mini plush. I don't know. It's cute. But uh, yeah, so under that, I just have a few other BTS items. And then to the right of that, I have a little like magazine file holder thing. And there's just a couple random magazines, other things that I've collected over the years that I've just thrown in there. So there is that. And then right below that shelf, I have another one that has a little mixture of things. So we have on the left hand side, my Ace album collection. So as of right now, I believe I have one copy per version of our album starting from Undercover. I don't have anything before that. But I think moving forward, I'll probably just be collecting one version per release as I have also downsized my June collection to just be one photo card per release, I believe is what I think I did, or like four, four photo cards per release to fill out a four pocket page, something like that. And then next to that, on the right hand side, I have my little RBW section, I guess. So we have Purple Kiss, One Us, and One We all together in one over there. I love it. I think it looks great. And as of right now, um, Purple Kiss only has one version per release, so I've just been buying one of each. <laughs> Actually, no, I lied. Hide and Seek had two, but I only have one. Did Emmy Emmy M have two? Did all of them have two? I mean, I'm just stupid. The first one didn't. Anyways, I only have one version per release for them. For One Us, I used to collect everything, but now I have since shrunk that down as well. And then for One We, they do only have one version per release, so I have technically every version they've dropped, but if they were to ever do more than one version in the future, I probably would only collect one. So there is that shelf. Oh, and then I do have a little Squishmallow. She's one of the only ones I have. I think her name is like Estrella or something like that, but she's a little star. I think she's cute. As soon as I saw her, I knew I needed it. So there's that. And then below that shelf, I have a little FNC section. So on the left hand side, we have all of my SF9 albums and because they are an alt group, I do collect every version per release. I do also have a few signed ones there. Uh, the turnover one in the front is a bit of a joke for me because we still to this day don't know whose signature that is. I remember posting it on Twitter trying to be like, does anybody know? And I got so many different answers. So we just pretend it's Chani. It might be Chani. I don't know, but that's who I say it is. And then on the right hand side, we have my P1 Harmony and N Flying albums. And for them, for both of those groups, I do one version per release. If you do see more than one, for example, and Flying Man on the Moon, it's because I got one signed after the fact. So sometimes, you know, I, I have exceptions to my own rules, but for the most part, I collect one version per release for both of those groups. For Kiho from P1 Harmony, I do collect every single photo card though anyways, but for N Flying, I do just trade whatever I pull to whatever I can for Jaehyun equivalents, but I don't collect everything for him. I used to to, I think, or I used to try, but now I don't, I don't care anymore. So that's that shelf. And then when we come down one more shelf, we have my 17 and very, very collections. So on the left-hand side, we have 17. And for them, I only do one version per release. Again, there's some exceptions there that you can probably see. For example, Director's Cut, I bought both well, I bought one version actually while I was in Korea, but Director's Cut is like, or that album, I think, isn't it, it's a repack, is it a repackage? Or was it a special album? I don't remember, but whatever it was anyways, it's one of my favorite albums of theirs of all time. And it just has like a special place in my heart. So I do keep both versions of that one. And then otherwise, I think that's the only time that that's happened. But yeah, so I just do one version per release. And then if they do like a little carrot version, I try to get woozies because he's my bias. I don't know if you heard that noise, but that was pretty wild. I have no idea what that was outside. But anyways, that is my 17 collection. And then on the right hand side, I have my Very Very collection. Now, I love Very Very with all of my heart. They're 
very close-ish kind of to being an alt group for me <laughs> in a way. They're they're not, but they're they're at the top of my list of groups that I love. Let's put it that way. So I do still collect every single version for their releases. It has gotten a little crazy. So for example, if you look at Hole over here, there were four versions and to be quite honest with you, I think that's quite a lot. And looking back, I probably didn't need all four since it spells whole twice. I could have just picked two. So I think moving forward, if they do more than two versions, I'm going to have to be a little bit more picky choosy with what I get. But otherwise, I'm still very much in my very, very era. <laughs> I love collecting them. It's just so fun and they're so talented and deserve so much more recognition so if you haven't checked them out yet i highly recommend that you do and i cannot wait to see what they continue to release in the future but that's it for this shelf and now we can move on down to the next one okay so next up we have my 80s and only one of collections so for my 80s collection which is on the left hand side i did used to collect every single version of every album for them but i have since shrunk that down to one version per release and i'm still very happy with that decision <laughs> their albums do take up a lot of space so um any way to shrink that down a little bit is always welcome for me so yes this is what i was left with i know that they are releasing something new maybe by the end of this year or early next year i don't really know it's kind of unclear but it's looking that way so i'm very excited to see what they release i recently went to their concert like what two weeks ago now i guess and oh my gosh what an amazing time i think that was the best concert i've been to all year probably the best i've been to in a while <laughs> so it was so much fun i absolutely love them with all of my heart and i cannot wait to continue collecting yosang in full so yes and that frame that you can kind of see back there it is a signed like fan page thing from him that i bought like oh god forever ago like when the second album dropped it's, it's a fan sign slot from from that album so um very happy to have that because i don't even know what it would have cost me today's day and age so very happy that i have that i i'm sad it's covered i only have it there for storage right now while i'm still kind of like decorating my new room and i can find a better place to put it but that's where he is for now and then on the right hand side i have my only one of collection as you can see their new releases are starting to form that rainbow i did just get mills version but it's downstairs in the mail room so i gotta go get that and then nines will be coming out soon and then the rainbow will be complete and i'm so happy with it if you have not checked out only one of i don't know what the heck you're waiting for they're also going on a u.s tour as well as i think south america in the new year um canada seems to be excluded <laughs> um i don't know that i'm willing to to travel just because it gets expensive and i'm still hoping and praying for a woods tour so like if i need to travel for a concert i want it to be for him there's like literally no info on anything about that like at all but i'm just like so scared that the second i decide to spend money on a plane ticket he's gonna announce something i don't know why that just seems like something that would happen to me so uh i don't know like i really want to go and i would love to go back to like new york or chicago um just for like you know a little weekend trip or like a couple day trip with a friend or something to go see them but like oh, i just don't know i really just don't know but i really want to see them live so bad come to canada man anyways very happy to have this shelf looking the way it does and we can move on down to the next one Okay, so next up I have what I like to call my little miscellaneous shelf that just has like one-off versions of albums that I've collected over the years or when I downsized other collections, these are the ones that I've kept, etc. It's just kind of a little mismatch. So I can kind of go into this one with a little bit more depth, I guess. So on the left-hand side, we have some of the boys, we have some Alas, we have Tan, we have Songwoo's uh, solo album, the very first one there, which... I just, ugh, I want new music from him so bad. I've wanted it for so long. I know he's thriving as an actor, but you know, I just, oh, I love his voice. So anyways, um, I also have in this little stack here, we have a little bit of day six. We have some The Rose. We have some on and off, a lot of little random things here and there. And then in the back over here, we have some 
CIX. There's a signed album here as well as this album is CIX as well. And that's all that I've kept from my CIX collection. I've decided to cut back on their their albums a lot. I don't uh, I don't wish to further my collection with them. I love their music, don't get me wrong. I listen to every single release they drop. I just can no longer collect everything. So that's why I've done that. And then on the right hand side, we just have a few more. I just wanted to kind of even out this shelf a little bit. So we have more on and off, uh, Pentagon, TNX, and X1 albums over on that side. This is just probably where I'm going to continue to throw little one-off albums that I decide to buy. I'll probably continue to buy a an album or two for like the boys if I like it for on and off if I really like it but I don't want to collect every single release especially if I don't like it same with pentagon like I really enjoy their music and like for example I forget what this this black album was called oh shoot I don't remember but I like I was had no intention of buying it and then I'll, all I did was listen to it when it dropped so I was like you know what I'm buying it so there's going to be situations like that where it's a group that I don't really collect but I love the music so much that I end up buying it and this is where those albums will go so that's this shelf and now we can move on down to the last one on this second larger shelf. All right, so as you can see on the very last shelf here, we have a little mixture of things. Basically, the last two sections of these shelves are a little bit taller, so I could fit my photo card binders in on the other one. And on this side, I've done that so that I can fit photo books. So on the left-hand side, you can see all of the different photo books I've collected over the years. Moving forward, I'm not going to be collecting photo books for anyone other than alt groups. And even then, I'm going to be super selective about the ones that I choose. Just because they're so big, they're so heavy and hefty. Every time I've had to move, <laughs> it's always a pain in the ass to pack those because they make a box heavy by just putting like two of them in there it's insane but i just love a good photo book especially if it has like a really good concept i don't know so it's going to be really hard for me to cut back on them but i think i'm on the right track <laughs> and then as you can see i do have some of those signed victim albums i was telling you about that i don't really know how i want to display them or where i want to put them but I'll figure it out eventually. There's also some 21 Pilots albums in the back there. Um, for those who don't know, 21 Pilots is still to this day probably one of my favorite artists out there. They were a huge part of my life before I got into the K-pop scene for sure. So um, they just have a very special place in my heart and I keep some of their albums back there. And then on the right hand side, I just have again a couple of miscellaneous JYP albums. We have a few of the GOT7 ones that have remained in my collection. And then next to them, we have my Extraordinary Heroes albums because they are so damn tall, they don't fit anywhere else. Because I would love to have put them next to Stray Kids, but they just, they don't fit. <laughs> they don't fit in that shelf, which is so sad. So they're staying down there for now. But that brings us to the end of this second larger shelf, and now we can go through my little SM shelf. Okay, so next up on the other side of my room, we have my SM shelf. Now the top of it here has changed a little bit over time, especially after I moved. I kind of rearranged the way some things are set up, but I'm really happy with this little like Taeyong shrine I have going on over here. So we have a signed thing from the Super M days. We have um, an L magazine. We have his Super M vinyl back there as well. And then, you know, some other magazines and photo books and light stick and all the fun things but yeah I'm really happy with the top of this shelf again if there's anything here that you're kind of curious about let me know and I can let you know where it's from but very happy with the way the top of this shelf looks it's it's just very me it's very Taeyong and I love it and then below that we have my NCT 127 collection as well as my like NCT as a whole collection if that makes sense so on the left hand side like i said it's all 127 there's some japanese releases in there there's all of the korean releases in there if there were member specific covers for anything i do get my top three so i would have taeyong yuta and johnny for all of those in some cases i think you can see over here i have four of the two baddies and that's because i joined 
I don't know, there were so many different versions of that album, I joined to get a different version of a photo card, so I ended up getting Tail's cover as well, because Tail would be the fourth member that I would collect if I decided to collect a fourth, which I'm not gonna be doing. Not for 127. Sorry, that was maybe like a little mini hint at something that I have planned for the future if it ever came to it. <laughs> Basically, I'll be collecting Shohei. If the second Shohei releases anything, I'm collecting him, so there's that. But anyways, on the right hand side, like I said, I have all of my NTT as like a whole. So we have like, what was that album called again? I always forget what this album is called and I don't know why. Empathy, it's called Empathy. So I have that one, we have NTT 2020, we have Resonance, all, all of that fun stuff. And then in terms of the jewel case, like member covers, because I would technically have six members to collect it would be Taeyong, yuta johnny ten xiao jun and chunla um that's just too much for me so i collect my top bias from each of the units so i would collect Taeyong, ten and chunla so that's why i only have those three there but yeah and then i have like obviously little decorative items as you can see like a little alien plush that i won at a carnival in the summer and a little skeleton mug because yeah that's just very me and I feel like it fits the NCT vibe. So that's this shelf. And now we can move on down to the one below it. So below the 127 and NCT as a whole shelf, we move on down below it. And we have NCT Dream as well as Wavy. So on the left hand side, we have all of my NCT Dream albums. They are dropping a Christmas release and there's so many versions of it. And I do plan to get one of each but uh we're gonna be working on that slowly as it drops i've only pre-purchased the photo book version i don't have the digi pack or the special or the limited i think are the other three i don't have those yet but i will work on it and then on the left hand side we have wavy who are also releasing something new it was supposed to drop on my birthday December 9th but it has moved I think to the 28th or something crazy like that but I'm still very much eagerly anticipating it I have pre-ordered both of those through a group order so hoping I will get some 10 photo cards in those but uh yeah very excited for both of these groups to be releasing something new soon we're also getting an SMCU release so again like a SM as a whole thing kind of like the winter album we got last year so I will be working on that the fact that i'm going to be working on all three of those collections at the same time and then 127 is also going to be dropping a repackage in january like pray for me because i feel like i'm going to be working on those collections for forever anyway that's the shelf again a few decorative items we got a nice little gengar that i also wanted at that same fair which i love but um yeah very cute little shelf there and now we can move on down to the very last shelf i'm going to be talking about today all right, and now we're moving down to the very last shelf that I'm going to be talking about today, and that houses all of my other SM groups that I collect. Starting on the left-hand side, we have all of my Taman albums. I did used to collect every single version for him, but I have since changed that and I have downsized it to one version per release. And the same goes for collecting his photo cards, just because I feel like there's a lot to collect and I need to tone it down a little bit. And then next to him, I have a couple of Keys albums. I have a couple EXO albums. I have Schumann's solo album, which was so exciting. And um, I also do have an Espa album hiding behind all of those, if you can kind of see it. So yeah, it's just kind of like a little mismatch. It's not really in any kind of particular order. It's just there. And then on the right hand side, I have my Super M collection as well as an Espa jewel case as well, because I thought that that jewel case was so cool. Um, and that's another thing. I'm pretty sure there is a rumor that Super M is going to be dropping something in the new year. So like just thinking about the amount of collecting that I'm gonna have to do on this shelf alone, because I'm sure Taman will drop something as soon as he's back. I hope, I don't know, but I, I think he will. Bacon probably will. I might not collect it though. EXO probably will. And then I'll just, you know, buy one version and get one Schumann photo card. It's fine. But <laughs> bottom line is there's going to be so many SM groups that I collect that are going to be dropping something new, like within the next couple of months, I'm thinking. So like, oh, pray for me, really pray for me. But yeah, that brings us to the end of this shelf. 
And that also brings us to the very end of my updated album collection slash, I guess, a little mini shelf tour. So like I said, moving forward, I probably won't be doing these every six months anymore. I'm probably just going to be doing it once a year. Maybe we'll see. If I think there's a significant change by the time June rolls around, then maybe I'll do another update halfway through the year. But I think my goal is probably to just do this at the end of every single year moving forward. So there's that. But yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I will also have an updated photo card collection video coming to you very, very soon. So do stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you don't want to miss it. I highly recommend that you stick around and check that one out as well. But yeah, I do have a lot of awesome video updates i think coming to you before the end of this year i'm very excited about it this is like my favorite time of year to film videos and updates